A professor of nursing science and sociology, University of Lagos, Fatai Badru, has called on the government to urgently create a database for care of the elderly in the country. He stated this at a symposium organized by the Neuropsychiatric Hospital Aroa Belkota Ogun State at its Dementia Week with a the theme, Remember a Person Coping with the Realities of Dementia. He noted that when old age sets in, there is dwindling income, and as such, they need help, not just from the family, but also from the government. Why we really relate it to the old people or older adults is because as we grow older, our muscle, our cells, our tissues, organ system begin to win little by little, right? So if an individual has taken drugs, for instance, you know, that could affect cannabis, for instance, that is a book, can accumulate in the brain for a long period of time. And so when you have such individual who are that children, and because of peer pressure, because of economy downtown, because of a lot of other factors, people get involved in other things that they are not supposed to, and they want to get success without following due process and so on and so forth. So actually, either old, either young, either middle, it could affect anybody. But like I said, the exact cost of even dementia is unknown. Increase investment in research on dementia, allocating funds to the health sector. We have not made the African Charter what we're supposed to put to health, health care in Nigeria. Institution of risk reduction strategy, building the required trained workforce. Even now, we are having brain drain. Health workers are going. Inside our building, we are even losing. Ensure that it is possible to live well with dementia. We must tell them, we must tell the family that, oh, it's not over. It's not over. We can still care for these people. We can still help them. It needs to uh, create awareness so that people need to protect the elderly. You know, we have, we have, we have spouses abuses. We also have elderly abuses. You know, we have people that are abusing the elderly, elderly ones at home. They load them up. They don't bring them out for treatment. So all this thing needs to stop. And thirdly, we are also trying to use the opportunity to uh, create to government that there needs to be a, a policy, a policy by the government in which, you know, when, of course, the, the, the hospital, the, our, our, our special our experts, in conjunction with other experts all over the country, are ready to work hand in hand with federal government and the state government and the local government to create a policy that will be a guiding policy that will determine and regulate how our elderly people will be taken care of in the public. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.